Hello everyone. Good day. Welcome to the Cambridge for School African Project. My name is Otiwe Chapombache and I'm going to be your instructor for today. Today, our lesson is going to look at how we can practically download the Cambridge Reader from the Cambridge website and then how we'll be able to install the Cambridge Reader on our machines or our laptops and how we can also request for a ZIM file to be created out of a website. Please, it's going to be a practical session, so get your laptops ready and follow me through. Now that you are ready, shall we move straight into the practical lessons? To be able to download the KREX reader, you would have to straight away go to the KREX website and that is www.krex.org. www.krex.org. Now, as soon as you're able to make your way to this particular website, you have a download tab here. You click on it and it's going to be a drop down menu. On the drop down menu, you shall see download KVS Reader. You click on the download KVS Reader. It takes you to the download platform where you may have options to download depending on the operating system you are using. You may be using a phone that's operating on Android. You may download Android. But for the purpose of our study today, we shall look at Windows. Now I'll click on Windows. Then it will tell me the type of Windows that I would want to use. If you are using any of the old Windows, like Windows SP or Vista or Windows Mint, Windows 2000, then you may have to go to the Windows Store to get a particular version of the KVX Reader that may help you. If not, and you are using Windows 8, Windows 7 and above, then you may want to download directly from here. And is your machine 64 or 32 bit? If it's 64 bit, you click on the download on the Windows 64 bit here, then automatically the download would begin for you. So as you can see here, automatically the download has begun. So this is how you can download the KWX reader for yourself. First, you go to www.kwix.org. Then you go to the download. Then from the downloads, you select the download KWX reader. Then you select the operating system you are using and the type of windows you are using, then automatically the download will start for you. So let's wait as it downloads. Now our KRX reader has been downloaded. Here we have it. It is downloaded in a zip folder. Please know the difference between a zip folder and a zim file. A zip folder is a folder that is locked and you may need a reader to be able to open, like Minra to be able to open. A zim file is a file, is a website, is a file format where a website can be converted into to make to make you have access to the website offline. So we may want to open and extract the content of our KREX software that we have just downloaded so i would basically open it now when you open you have to extract the content you have to extract the content so i would select the kiwis reader and i'll extract the content please make sure you extract the content to a location you can find because you go back to the location to locate your reader in there so i would for the purpose of this study i would want to direct it onto my desktop so i'll select my desktop here then I'll create a new folder on the desktop. Then I'll name the, uh, the new folder KWX software. Then I'll begin my extraction. So the extraction is going on now. I'm now extracting the content into, um, I'm opening the zip. You know, it was zipped. So I'm now opening the zip to extract. I think it has finished so let me find out if i can locate on my desktop there you are kerry software so i open the kerry software then the content here is no longer zipped it's opened i open good so here i look out for the executable file and as it's opened here you are i have my kerry desktop reader here then i just will open it So if I open, it will open the Kiris library for me. This is offline. 
queries library for me offline. And as you can see, automatically it has picked all the um, Zim files I have because Kerix will read Zim files. All the Zim files I have that I downloaded for the purpose of this um, class has been already picked up by this. Please let me take time to explain this. Now, initially, the Kerix software that we were using would open the reader for you. But currently, when you download from the website, the Kerix software that you have will take you into the library. So you then have to open the library and then upload your content into it before you can then read it unlike before where it would automatically open the software for you okay so this has taken me to the library now let's go back to let's go back to this yes here and let's create let's create an icon for the kerex on our desktop so that we can easily access it so i would send this one to a desktop i'll create a shortcut for it to my desktop this is how i do it you right click you go to send to then desktop create shortcut so i can then close this one and i have my kerix this is to the kerix library please note that, that is the software we have online that is where it will take you to but previously those who had the other software the one that we're using that will give you the reader directly but i'm going to show you all and then you'll be able to um, use them as and when you want so i'll open my kerix now when i open this one as i've told you it will take me to the library the kerix library but this is offline everything i'm doing now is not online again i'm offline good so it has opened the library for me then so this is my kerex um yes I've, I've been able to open it now we have to you know kerex is a reader and a content so how now that you have the kerex reader you have to get something you use the reader to read so you have to get a content how do you get the content the contents are equally found on the kerex website so you can get the content from the Kerex website. Let's go back to the Kerex website. Good. Back to the Kerex website. You see, we have download here. Then we have contents. So these are the Zim files that have already been created for you. So let's go to content. So when you come here, all the contents are here. These are contents that have already been created for you by Kerex. So, you have to go through the contents and you may search and look out for, you see, you can have Wikipedia, Wikiversity, Wikiversity, Wikiwar, and this is what I've downloaded for this particular purpose, for this particular lesson. So, all these contents are in here. So, you have to scan through. So, the contents, you may have TED Talks, you may have FET, a Regarding Bank Project, they are all content that are here. So, you look out for content that will suit you specific for what you want to do then you will download those contents and then you'll be able to assess them offline so for this particular purpose i have downloaded wiki world so wiki world is already in my downloads now let's see how if i want to download wiki world what i will do is that i will just will click on the content i want to download you click on it okay so you click on it then you see so this, this, these are uh, the wiki wall. These are some of the things you would have to see under wiki wall. So this has opened the wiki wall for me from the Kiwix reader. But I don't want the wiki wall from the Kiwix reader. I want to download. So I come to download. You see that download is there. You click on the download. Okay. So this will tell you, is it a direct download? Are you, I'm going to do a direct download, but I'm not going to download today. But if I go to download, you just click on the direct download and then you have it for yourself. But I'm not going to do a direct download today. Now, I come back to my Kerex here, which is in my library here. You see that there's wiki wall here. It's already on it, so I open it. Just as we saw on the net, it has brought me here. But let me take you through how you can then upload content on the reader. So now this is the Kirish, this is the Kirish reader for you. You see here. So you come to, you see that we have open file here. So open file here. Okay. I'm going to show you how you done. You are able to load content onto the reader. Open file. Then since I downloaded WikiWorld, it will be in my downloads. So I go to downloads. When I go to downloads, it will bring all the Zim files. You see that they said .zim. So it has only brought out selected. Only Zim files have been selected. And WikiWorld is here. So I will then 
select wiki world then the reader will open for me that's open for me here i'm in wiki world whatever i want to search if i want to search for okay wiki world so let me search for um okay let me search for maybe tiger nut tiger nut okay good so tiger nut is here let me see what tiger nut has for so tiger nut other names you see we would have found the same thing if, but we are doing this offline we are doing this offline so now we have downloaded we have been able to download the kwix reader we have been able to install had the, now we have the kwix on our on our machine then i've used the kwix on my machine to open the wiki wall uh, to open a zim file for you to see so basically this is how you're able to download the kwix reader and then use the kwix reader to open a zim file you may also follow the directions as given out in the PowerPoint presentation, and you may be able to do this excellently without any qualms or problems. So one, you download, you go and then also you download the reader, then you get the content, you get the content from the KWIX um, website. Now, come to think of it, what of if my content I have, I have an open source website, and note, it's only open source website, that can be converted to a zim file. I have an open source website that is not on the Kiwis reader. I want to create, um, I want to create that website myself. I want to create a zim file of that particular website. How do you do it? Now I'm going to show you how you are going to use um, the use it to do it. But in your PowerPoint slides or in the presentation, you have the GitHub process. You may choose any of them that you prefer to use. But for this particular um, practical session, I'm going to take you through how you use the use image because that is what is not in your PowerPoint presentation. So how do we go about it? First, I have to identify the website. So let, let me go back. So now I'm back online. So let me come to WikiWall. WikiWall, because that's what I've been using today. WikiWall. So WikiWall. Let me search WikiWall on Google. So I'm searching WikiWall on Google. Okay, so WikiWall. Um, let me. I just want to get a wiki world website. Okay, so wiki world is here. I come to wiki world. So, this is the website. I want to get a web address very well. So, now we are online, but initially, what we were doing, we we're offline. Okay, so wiki world. Okay, this is the main page. Good. So, this is the site I want to convert. Assuming this is the site I want to convert to a Zen file. Please note this website i go to uzim.it www.uzim.it www.uzim.it uzim.it now when you the uzim.it is a website where you can request for zim files to be created for you so as you have it here want an offline version of a website just zim it so you put the url of the website that you want to convert here so this is the u i want to convert the wiki world so the main page thereof. So I select the URL here, URL, then I come and then I paste it here. Then my email address, I put my email address here. Okay. Then I just click, let's zoom it. Let's zoom it. I send it. So I've sent a request. So now it's pending. Your request is being recorded and is awaiting a slot on our infrastructure to run. So now when it's ready, I'm going to receive I'm going to receive an email to tell me that my Zim file is ready and I can access it via a particular website. Uh, sorry, via a particular link. Sorry. So this is how you also create your Zim file. It may take a maximum of 48 to 72 hours. You may get a response from the team. So normally you request and it's done for you the link is sent to you i hope you have enjoyed the lesson today in today's lesson we learned how to download the kiwis reader from the kiwis website how to use the kiwis reader to open a zim file that you have downloaded from the kiwis website how to download content from the kiwis website then how to convert 
websites into Zim so that you can access them offline. That has been today's lesson. Thank you very much. You may send all questions to me and I may be able to answer them for you. Thank you once again.